Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to look at the asterisk selector, which selects all elements on a page or within a particular area of your page. The first example we're going to look at is showing how many elements are currently on the page, so all of the elements you see on the page. And then we'll look at creating a div and counting the elements inside of it. Um, obviously I've uh, already explained in the last tutorial with the selector you can perform actions on a specific set of elements so although in this video we're actually counting the elements uh, the selectors are not obviously just used for counting okay so let's go ahead and uh, just leave this page as it is but we'll head over to selectors.js and start to write out our code so I'm going to write uh, uh, create a variable called count and this is going to be equal to the total amount of elements on the page. So to grab the total amount of elements, what we want to do is just use the asterisk selector here on its own. And we want to produce um, a count from this. So we want to select everything on the page and then retrieve the actual count that we have back from this. Because this on its own will only select, it won't actually give how many elements have been returned in the uh, specified set. And remember the specified set is everything. So if we go ahead and add dot length onto the end of this, count now contains a list of all the elements or a number of all of the elements on the page. So as you can see, we've got a few elements on the page here. So when we go ahead and alert this out to the user, we should have, um, let's have a look about about yeah we'll have seven elements on the page uh, we should do anyway let's go ahead and refresh the page uh, yeah so you see we get the count seven so that has selected every single element on this page and returned the length that this selector has returned which happens to be seven so now we want to go ahead and select elements only from a particular area so to do this we can go ahead in our, and in our index.php page create a div We'll give it an ID, so we'll say area, and then inside here we can create some elements. So this is a paragraph. And let's go ahead and create a button as well. And then finally, let's go ahead and create a span. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, refresh the page. We'll still get that. We'll still get well. We'll get eleven up now because we've added another three elements onto this. However, uh, another four elements onto this. Sorry, um, that includes our div in the outer area here as well. But what we actually want to do is only select these elements that we actually find useful. So let's just say we wanted to change the color or add some or add a class to only these elements. We don't want to select the entire page contents. So inside selectors, we actually now want to specify the area that we want to select. And this is area because we've created a div with these three elements inside. So we can we can just reference this area and then we can say dot find and inside of this we can use the asterisk. So instead of actually specifying the asterisk in this first selector, we specify the area and then we use find and then we specify an asterisk. It's still going to return the length, but this time when we refresh the page, it should return a length of three. So now you can see we've got a length of three because that's counted the elements within that div. So selectors uh, generally are used to uh, obviously reference particular objects on your page you can either reference by an ID in this case we referenced earlier by area we used a hash because we've used an ID and then we specified the name and then we counted the uh, le uh, the amount of elements using the asterisk inside of here now we've got one paragraph inside of here so let's go ahead and check what would happen if we change this to a P so let's uh, refresh the page. You can see that we've got one return to the user. That's because there's only one paragraph within this area here. So we first of all use the selector to select the outside area, and then we're looking internally to find a specific element. We'll look more at P and other different selectors um, in the next few videos. 
but for now, that's the asterisk selector in jQuery.